Uh, finally found him. Well, I saw him go down, but I had a hard time finding him in this tall grass. But I got me a gnarly, non-typical. Look at that. Split G2s on each side. Funky time. And I freaking smoked him. Look at that. That's the exit. Smoked him. My truck is right there. Oh my lord, thank you lord, thank you. The lord made me forget my bow this morning for a reason. Thank you lord. This is my biggest whitetail. Hell yeah! <laughs> Just shot my biggest whitetail ever. The craziest way that it could possibly happen. It's a 6x6, six 12-point, six, crazy non-typical. But this morning I left about 5.30. I was halfway here, realized I forgot my bow. So I had to go back home, get my bow. By the time I was coming back, the sun was already up. So I was kind of like down that I wasn't in here before first light. And um, as soon as I'm driving up, I see this buck and another crazy non-typical buck. He had a five point side on one side and a giant spike on the other. Uh, crossing the road into the public so I haul ass past them and park in the nearest parking spot about maybe 400 yards away and there's this ditch that runs alongside the road I wasn't even in my, I didn't even have my boots on I had my slippers on still and I was like I ain't got time to put my slippers my boots on so I just crawled over ran over here in my in my slippers got to the spot where i had marked where they were gonna cross i get there i go to full draw i poke my head up i don't see them and i'm like where are they and the grass is actually pretty tall it's probably about chest high in some spots and i don't i didn't see them and i look to my left a little bit and this buck standing right there at like 20 yards and i'm like damn it and he starts taking off like just trotting a little bit not super spooked i gave him a little grunt like Meh. Stopped at like 60 yards, I guessed it at, put it right on him, and I freaking drilled him. Drilled him. At first, I thought I made a bad shot because he bolted out of there like a bat out of hell, but I heard the thwack. And he ran about 80 to 100 yards, and I watched him stop and just look back at me, and I was looking I was looking at him, and he didn't look too hurt. Next thing I know, he starts stumbling and tips right on over. But biggest buck, biggest whitetail to date. Super pumped crazy non-typical split g2s got my bowtech bowtech thank you uh slick trick broadheads complete past it was barely hanging on by like just the fletching coming through the other side badass man freaking super pumped super happy thank you lord the lord made me forget my bow for a reason today everything happens for a reason if i would have shown up here early when i was first planning on being here I would have never got a shot at this buck, would have never even seen him. I was kind of the complete opposite end of the property, so everything happens for a reason. Thank you, Lord. First time I've been able to take a deer hole without quartering out in years. It was only about 